What up guys, Honor Pop here, and welcome to another episode of the Ravcast. I am joined by a plethora of people. Say hi, everybody. <laughs> Good morning. Hello, everybody. Hello, hello. Hi, everybody. Yep, we've got we've got wonderful patrons of Benny Popcorn and Mass Kitty here, and of course my sister Siren. Welcome, welcome. Hello, I'm Benny Popcorn. And this is <laughs> what? <my sister. laughs> no, you're not. And I'm Popcorn Benny. Mm, I believe oh, that. Oh, got it. Got it. That makes sense. Yeah, that checks out. <laughs> that does make sense. That tracks. This, this checks out. <laughs> With both Benny and Popcorn? Yeah, that, that, that tracks. <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> Benny Popcorn and Popcorn Benny. I, who, who, was, who was it who gave the idea of talking about, like, you know, toys from our childhood? I forget who. I forget who spouted that idea. Benny? I think it was. Couldn't have been me. No, no, certainly not. Why? I don't. <laughs> I don't. I don't think about my childhood that much. I'm not. I that don't old. Know. Why? I, I don't know. I mean, you it, don't it have sounds to think about childhood. Just your toys. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, though. My it's, childhood's it's... a long time ago now. Oh yeah. Okay. The older you get, the more you think about it, right? No. Although the more you think about it, wrong. <laughs> mm, yeah. Well. I just think about whether I'm going to get out of bed the next day without being in pain. Who are you? Let me know. Don't spoil it, actually. Okay. Oh, man, a time back in Take our childhoods when we didn't have to deal with this nonsense. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I wasn't there. Yeah. We, well, we could, we, well, we could just pretend and just be innocent and naive and do our own thing. Light things on fire. Okay, well, not that. You headstands and climb fences, and you didn't have to worry about things like yoga. Wait, you could do head, head, handstands? What? When I was a kid, yeah. Well, I could do them in the pool, but not outside of it. Not very long, and I would get. I mean, I had to do them up against the wall. Okay, I was about to say. Yeah, I can do that. I would start to go do it, and could hold it for like one second, and then I'd fall backwards. Yeah, Yeah, but children are like immortal. Like they are, they can't, they can't be hurt as easily as the uh, brittle bone adults. You're wrong about that. (laughs) I've fallen on a tree so many times as a kid without a single break. Oh, me too. I never broke anything as a kid. The only thing I've broken is toes and as, as an adult from kicking things. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Otter and I... Punching a bar. Otter and I have never broken anything either. No. Oh, this time. I didn't break my first proper bone until I was 35. You broke your proper bone? Oh, that sucks. That sucks. Unless you want to say that jeans broke your knees, Saren. <laughs> <laughs> what? Jeans broke your knees. <laughs> All the jeans. In oh, Colorado. I thought you meant like <laughs> the jeans you wear, not the not jeans that jeans. run in your family. <laughs> the other kind I'm of like, jeans. What's this story. <laughs> no, like, like biological like, DNA now. jeans. <laughs> Talk about when pants attack. Go, go for it. Mm. Oh. <laughs> That's literally what I was thinking. I was like, oh, when pants attack. Well, Betty, how about, do, do you want to go ahead and start? Because you were the one who kind of brought up the topic, so I'm not sure if you wanted to start and maybe talk about some of the toys that you the topic, remember. But okay, I'll... <laughs> well, no, I, I'm mean, pretty sure you did. <laughs> some of the first things I owned uh, was a globe, because, I mean, this is when I was an infant, infant. The very first thing I owned was a globe and, like, things that they were going to, like, give to me as I got older. Uh, a globe, a chess set and a uh i guess i guess it was just a train set that was going to come to me later on in life that was my grandfather's so Mm, the funny thing about the intellectual thing yeah well i mean here's the thing my mom made it very clear to every one of her friends and family members that they did not want me to get gender specific toys it was super important to them Ah. and that's not even yeah, it was, it, you know, it was, it was, it was more important that I, I, I don't know why. I never asked why. I, 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 I regret that. I regret that because I could, you know, I, but now people are going to think it's a, it's a woke thing, but it's, it was just more of a, a, you know, let's not pollute the idea that, you know, these, these are just plastic and, you know, metal. It does not define you to, use a specific toy you can if you want a doll you can have it all if i if i wanted if a gender specific toy, i have to ask for it the closest thing i got was like you know toy cars but even that's not really gendered uh you know uh so uh so the globe is the, it's the funny thing they got that for me when i was conceived 
uh, when I was first uh, announced to be born, you know, oh, this person's going to be born in nine months. So that globe actually has the Soviet Union on it. Uh, oh, wow. Because two months later, after the Soviet Union collapsed, I was born. <laughs> Isn't that neat? <laughs> oh, it was your fault. It yes. was. Foretold. <laughs> yeah. But was it? Prophecy, yeah, yeah. It's true. The prophecy. Although I think it was officially. No, no, I, I got that wrong. It, the internet was two months before I was born. The Soviet Union collapsed on December 26th, which is seven days after I was born. So I was born with the Soviet Union in, yeah, uh, yeah. Well, you were born with That's the Soviet but, Union intact, but be, <laughs> it was a warning. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah. See, I have, I have less memories of toys, and because of, you know, our capitalist society, I remember more toy commercials. Oh no, the commercials! Yeah. Oh my gosh, oh. the commercials! Yeah. And of course, yeah. the '80s was full of toys based just on commercials. I mean, sorry, uh, yeah, sorry, uh, cartoon shows based just on com yes. uh, commercials. You know, you got your, oh, yeah, you got your Transformers, you got your Pound Puppies, Care Bears, you got your My Little Pony, like that. Care I Bears, My Little Ponies. I forgot about Pound Puppies. I love Pound Puppies. Yeah. I vaguely remember that now that that's mentioned. Yeah. And, and, and I'm a 90s kid. I don't remember pounding kid. puppies. Oh, okay. <laughs> Not that kind of pound puppies. And the, cats, and the, cat, the cat equivalent was ca uh, pound purry instead of pound pussy. Which yes. makes more sense. Oh my gosh. Sense. <laughs> Family friendly. What? What's new what? pussy cat? Just... Okay, okay. It's like, I can't remember many of those toy commercials. But if, like, off the top of my head. But if you showed them to me, I'd be like, oh, I remember this. This was on the TV all the time, but could I pull it out of my ass? No. Do you remember the Bumble Ball? That used to scare the shit out of me. The Bumble Ball? I don't remember ball? that. It is a no. vibrating... It is a vibrating... Vibranium. Yeah, it is a vibrating <laughs> green ball. Oh, is it the one that has, like, little nodes on the outside yeah, of it? Yeah, these little nubs. These little colored nubs. Huh. And I, uh... I guess if you dropped it, it would, sh it would just vibrate for a while, and that just scared the crap out of me. Any toy what that vibrated heck? or moved on its own would terrify me as a kid. That's fair. Man, That's you fair. would hate cat toys nowadays. <laughs> and, and exactly. And there was a cat toy we had from our uh, from our first cat that vibrated. Mm -hmm. And when putting away my toys, my dad put that vibrating mouse in my toy box, and me thinking, oh. like, that thing is going to vibrate forever. <laughs> I can never go play with my toys again. Aww. I guess I'll just put those oh, in the yeah, Lego and stuffed animals instead. Yeah, innocence lost. I know we're talking about specific toys, but like t talking about the commercials, that's like where my innocence was kind of broken, where I realized mm. that people just lie. Because I, I don't remember what it was. That it was some little like fairy toy or something, and uh, it was supposed to fly. Yeah. I, and it didn't do anything that the commercials said it was supposed to do, oh. and I was just heartbroken. All flying uh. toys, man. See, I, I, I think I saw, like, vines or videos of that as an adult, but I never really saw that as a kid. But, yeah, it, it just wouldn't fly or it would just keep flying or something like that. Yeah, it, I don't remember exactly what it was supposed to do, but I know it yeah. didn't do what it said it was going to. <laughs> no, was it, it the not. one that's, like, was it the one that's supposed to, like, in, like, it spins and just, like, hovers? No, yeah, I know the one like... you're talking about where there's that oh. video where it flies into the fire. <laughs> yeah. <it's... laughs> yeah. It wasn't that, but it was similar. I don't okay. remember what it was supposed to be because it wasn't what it was supposed to be. I think Sarah and Otter might know this lie. Anyone remember Moon Shoes? No. Oh, oh my oh god. god. <laughs> those I think things? I had like put some of those on like once. Yep. <laughs> I never tried them. They don't work, so no. Don't break your knees. <laughs> yeah, uh, that that's kind of... Maybe that's why your knees are for. broken, Saren. Because <laughs> you tried them all We once. never had moon <laughs> shoes. <laughs> you said you tried them, though. <laughs> I put them on once. I just kind of... I didn't really do anything with that's them. All <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's all it took. That's all it took. Yeah, I don't recall ever trying them on at any point, but I do remember them. You remember Skip It? Skip It. Skip It. Oh I my gosh, it. yeah. those that That would break your ankles. I yeah, loved it. Uh, yeah, it would. It would. I tried it once. I got a welt. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm sure I got you many. Did. You think? No, I gave up after the first try. I'm not, I'm not uh, one to experience pain a second time. I'm not a masochist. <laughs> yeah, not or like a masochist. 
Yeah. <laughs> wait a second. Is that okay. where your name comes from? Yes. Ah. Wait, wait a second. <laughs> I just thought it was like a mass of kitties, uh, like uh, no. no, like a like a big lump. No, like masochist, but masochist. Ah. I never realized that. I'll kitties. be honest. <laughs> a lump of kitties. <laughs> I'm just oh. laughing about a big lump of kitties. <laughs> I love a big lump of kitties, although I kind of love this one. Eh. I mean, yeah. You say it fast, and it sounds like something else. <laughs> yeah, what? what about you, popcorn? You haven't oh. really, uh, you haven't really mentioned we... anything yet. <laughs> yeah, popcorn. I haven't had a chance. <laughs> Tell me uh, about that. Yeah. That's fair. That's fair. <laughs> Good God, yeah, we no. haven't really given him a minute to, <laughs> to talk. <laughs> Well, no, I mean, my experiences are similar to Maso's, but um, what I will say is that it's like late 70s, early 80s, where you start getting like the movie TV tie-in kind of toys and the kind of like the hard sell. Mm. Mm -hmm. But um, I remember my mom got me um, Optimus Prime, the Transformer. She got it mm. off of a mail order catalog. And... Yeah. I didn't. I I didn't know anything about them at the time. I hadn't seen any adverts for them. I hadn't even seen the cartoon. Yeah. So she really like pre-jumped that. So she she was very clever with that. But also, when I was like very young, maybe probably about eight, nine, ten. Um, that's obviously that's when all the Star Wars stuff is around. <laughs> yeah. Mm, yeah. You get so yourself. Many toys. A Badass Millennium Falcon, and it's just whoa. <laughs> our, our dad had one. It was I it mean, was big. That thing mm -hmm. should still be in my attic, my mom's what? attic. Mm -hmm. Well, I think my brother stole it to give to his son. Oh, oh. Uh, I, would, I, so I, I was planning to give it to him anyway, but someone I think jumped the gun, just like your mom when she bought the. <laughs> but in a bad way yeah not quite as good <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah but yeah so you know i had loads of like star wars toys growing up in the action figures but yeah. you couldn't really you you needed pots of money to get all of this kind of stuff oh yeah pot of greed yeah man yeah. and um it was already starting to become retro, the 80s toys, uh, when I was growing up. Like, they were really expensive, like, if you want the old stuff. Well, they're expensive now. They were expensive to buy. Yeah, they were always expensive. Yeah, man. I mean, you, I mean, I imagine back then, putting this in American terms, you're talking about maybe 1982, 1983. A Millennium Falcon was probably going to set you back probably about $70. The hang. Yep. I'll just uh, keep the That's little lot of one money. I bought for two dollars. <laughs> uh, yeah, keep that or one. whatever. And yeah. you know, but you 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 have something like that, something relatively vintage, and it doesn't even have to be mint. You could probably get someone who'd be willing to pay two hundred dollars for that now. Yeah, for oh, any flavor. Really easy. Yeah, easily. So, you know, and the Transformers came, like, more, like, late 80s. You're talking about 87, 88, 89. Well, I found out how popular, how easy it was to sell toys to children once the uh, guidelines were lifted on what a cartoon for children had to be. Because you remember in the 70s, all the cartoons had to have a moral. I mean, they still had that in the 80s, but it wasn't, it was definitely a commercial. It was definitely one big commercial, you know. Yeah. The, the Ninja Turtles. My Little Pony. Yeah, My Little I mean, Pony, Transformers, all that, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. And because then, back then, we had all, like, the fads, like, the that damn Cabbage Patch Kids. Cabbage Patch Kids, and then, oh, of course, the Garbage gosh. Patch Kids as the, as the parody. Yeah. I didn't like either of those. I know no. Mom's talked about Cabbage Patch Kids. She, she used to have a bunch when she was a kid. Yeah. I, I'm sure uh, that... That was, Cabbage like... The first genuine craze that I remember. I'm sure the craze that Otter and Saren remember are Beanie Babies. That's the one that I think. Yes. Really yeah. Oh my god. You have no we idea. We had tens of them. Tens and tens of Beanie Babies. <laughs> I know you'll have way more. Even it's from like scary. five or six years old, we were getting Beanie Babies, and we still had a bunch of uh, not just Beanie Babies, but the stuffed animals in general. By the time we were in high school. Oh, I yeah. had so many stuffed animals. Yeah, what was what was what was big then too was the webkins. Yes, 
in those online those I do games. Not know. I never jumped on that craze. I was a little too old. <laughs> well, <laughs> that's fair. Yeah, yeah. We, I mean, we we always ended up doing that just because our parents got them for us. Yeah, yeah. Weapons were like Arby's? toys with a code, right? Uh-huh. Yeah, there's there's a there's a code with every one for you to be able to like add it to a site where you have uh, like those pets in online forms. Okay. Oh. You, you okay, can so with an actual rooms, toy you can games. Well, unlike the Neopets craze, and uh, but Neopets that's not different. even yeah. Yeah. Oh it's yeah, like you, when you get into the nineties, you start seeing stuff like Tamagotchis, don't you? Oh, yeah. Tamagotchis. oh my god! Yeah, like, yeah. I remember Tamagotchis. Yeah, it blurs the line between you know toy and video game, but that's definitely I would call it a a, a problem. <laughs> <laughs> I was just going to jump in and say because obviously another thing that happened when I, when I was growing up is that obviously you had like the arcades and the malls and stuff like that um, and you didn't have anything as sophisticated as like computer games really beyond um, like you, you got your Atari 2600 like PC gaming didn't really start to develop until like the 90s but you could get like the little portable arcade game sets mm-hmm. like uh, like mm-hmm. caveman or firefox f7 or astro wars and we had, we had plenty of them sure i still i still think i had the caveman like relatively recently it still worked everything it was like mint wow. but um but i doubt um i doubt it's still kicking around now but yeah they were still playable and they were good they, they were good fun um you could beat them a bit easily but it's like it's eighties arcade technology. There's only so far you can go with it. <laughs> yeah. True. <laughs> yeah. I I actually played on the Atari E. T. the Extraterrestrial. Oh you did? Oh no. Yeah. Why? Did you win? <laughs> I think I got bored with it. Are you winning? I was I was I'm only shocked. I was only like ten years old. <laughs> There's and a reason I don't it's even, called the worst game the of all time. True. Yeah. I think we rented it, the cartridge. We didn't even buy Jeez. it. <laughs> I don't know if I was blessed or cursed to not have video games or my own computer until I was 10. Uh, because my favorite toys, essentially, if it weren't, you know, blocks or stuffed animals or whatever at the early years, became pocket knives and micro, uh, uh, like uh, magnifying glasses and ant farms uh. and, you know, <laughs> things to play outside with. And I just would. Sick fuck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I would destroy the local ecosystem of my backyard frequently. Dirt, you know, it's my favorite toy. Dirt and sticks. Massa, yeah. did you ever play with Lincoln Logs? I did not. But Tinker you know? toys. Oh wow. That Fiddle sticks. Awesome. I I got more into Legos. I didn't really mess with the oh, Lincoln okay. Logs. We had we well, had I some had both. Legos for yeah. sure. Not many though. I barely remember. We had Play Doh. I remember that. Play-Doh. Oh, Play-Doh. <laughs> uh, uh, my parents were always like, the, why do I have to buy this official expensive Play-Doh when you can just make your own out of the, the things in the kitchen? Uh, that we're not, not going to ever do. <laughs> no, no, yeah. no, but but um, Saren, do you remember that that little sunroom in our in our house in New York? That's where a lot of like oh, the yeah. toys and stuff were kept, and that that's where we would play with Play-Doh a lot. We had quite a few sets, actually. Mm-hmm. Um, we avoided trying to mix colors as best as possible, though. I remember that. Yeah. Uh, mine was a blobby mud color. I wow. was the weird kid who would eat it. <laughs> I tasted uh, it too gosh. salty. <laughs> Num, num, it's num, always num, been salty. salty. They're like, oh, now we made it salty so kids won't eat it. Man, I ate that anyway. <laughs> you should, you, you know, my dad. I don't give a shit. <laughs> Can't tell me Was that about doing. the time you started hearing the voices in your head? Oh. Okay. <laughs> oh, <geez. laughs> uh, well, that'll do it. I wish they spoke English. <laughs> it's all Latin up there. Yeah, Sarah and I were kind of on a similar page as you, Benny, is that we, we didn't actually have our own like gaming systems or PCs until we were like... Uh, 10 12 give or take yeah. um but even even afterwards we were still growing up with a lot of you know non ps4 non pc related toys i'm oh my gosh i'm trying to remember some of the other stuff that we had i remember three things that i had uh-huh i had Polly pockets uh-huh. oh <laughs> that's right <laughs> i had a bunch of littlest pet shop oh, i forgot about that 
Oh my god, I forgot And that too. I had a bunch of those tiny little, like, animal and dinosaur figures that you would get in, like, the plastic tubes. <laughs> oh, I had a bunch of those. Yeah! Yeah, I, I yeah no, dinosaurs. I had so many of all of that. Like, I, oh, yeah. I remember those very well. Especially, like, the dinos and the safari animals, wasn't it? Oh, yeah, yeah I, I, had, I, had a, I had a lot of... I had a lot of uh, dinosaurs. Because I, I think we I think we ended up going to zoos a lot. But the funny thing is, I don't remember those. I don't I don't remember ever going to the zoo with, with the family. Ever. Mm -hmm. Even though I know we've gone multiple times. Yeah, I, I don't particularly remember it either. But I don't think it was just like going to the zoo where we got those. Because a lot of times those were sold elsewhere as True. well. True. True. I had so many of those little things. It's really funny. Oh, I used too. to get like the officially licensed little toys like that from like Disney movies and mm, I would get yep. more than one of each character and then I would like color different things on the other figures and be like this is the bad version ah. <laughs> heck yeah did any of us uh, have the any dark side. <laughs> did any of us have any toys that were designed to fight other children <laughs> such what? as such as These soccer bats or whole cans or those padded like bats you well, know i was like i'm gonna need an example <laughs> soccer boppers more fun than like a pillow fight. i just beat the my grenades. friends up with my fists and feet like god intended pillow fights were actually more fun because you could put bricks in them uh, <laughs> okay i got in trouble for throwing batteries at somebody one time oh <laughs> well I got in trouble for stabbing somebody with a pencil the one time. Or... Oh! <laughs> what? Each their own. Next time yeah. on Rough Cast Therapy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on, guys. Hey, what, what is one toy any one of you wishes that you still had Bop that it. you think you would probably still pick it up and mess around with it? Bop I it. have one, definitely. Okay, so this is going to age me, but. Does anybody remember <laughs> Fievel, an American tale? Yeah, I love yes. that movie. Yeah, it's yes. interesting, but okay. I love it. American tale. So there was this toy of Fievel where he had his big hat, and he was like, like partially stuffed, kind of like Teddy Ruxpin. He yeah. had a tape player in his back. And I remember with, that. Yeah, it came with a tape where they were like singing, you know, the songs from the movie and stuff. Uh -huh. I loved this toy, and I figured oh. out that I could take his hat off and oh, no. I could wear it. Oh, oh. that was the end. Oh. That was my favorite toy. The hat. Yes. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, I had a tape deck and it was actually a really good toy because I used to listen to like my favorite cassettes at night. I, I wish I had one that was, I'm glad I did. Actually, no, I'm actually don't wish for that. Cause like the Fisher Price light bulb oven or something like that. Yeah, yeah, but it was more generic. Uh, I don't think it was one of those official brands, uh, but it actually lasted a very long time, and it was actually pretty good quality because I feel like most of those like old tape decks from like the early '90s, like they degraded quickly. Uh, especially, I mean, like I don't know if you've ever heard like me playing with Teddy Ruxpin in 2023, and it sounds like I don't know uh, uh, garbage disposal. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, to be very fair, I have no idea what it would sound like now if I tried to use it. <laughs> that reminds me of a video I saw a little while back about um, the worst toys ever put on sale. And the kind of things where it says, um, what were executives thinking when they looked at this and said, oh yeah, that's what we need, that's a good idea. <laughs> Money. That's what I think. All well, all I mean, was I think in the fifties. Money. Was, there was yeah, but the yeah, it was just is. so badly thought out. There was yeah. a chemistry set in the fifties with actually uranium in it. And that... <laughs> oh, good lord! Oh yeah, but the, was. that was like a that was like play with nuclear thing anyway. It, it was supposed to like teach kids about certain kinds of stuff, you know, about. <laughs> Out yeah, there, I don't, don't even understand. Let the kids figure it out. Fun fact, Chernobyl was actually caused by a kid's chemistry <laughs> set. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> the elephant foot is a lie. It's just a little kid's set in there. <laughs> I playing in there. I sometimes get the elephant's foot and the elephant's ear mixed up. Elephant's foot is horrible and the elephant's ear is delicious. Yes. <laughs> yes. 
remember uh, I'm, another I'm... thing that or the wow i'm sorry uh that otter <laughs> and i had uh otter do you remember the light bright yes just about oh, to bring that up my god that's a 70s toy that's 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 something i completely forgot about that holy shit mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah we we had a light bright oh my god and oh. i loved that damn thing i re oh i i remember you loved that thing I, I mean, I loved it too, but you really loved it. Oh my gosh. And then I the light went out. I was too young yeah. to receive it, and I chewed on all the little bits. Ah. <laughs> I think we only yeah. had it for a few years before it, it went out. We didn't have it nearly as long as some of our other toys, which is probably why I don't remember it. Potentially. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'd um, recommend just, um, if you are, uh, just Google Tarzan Toy Gif. What? Tarzan toy gift. It's one of the worst designed toys ever. Is it like the Buzz Lightyear cup with the big, you know, thing coming out of his thing? Oh. Oh, it's worse. <laughs> Is it this? It's worse? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I've seen that. <laughs> ah, that's, yep, that's it. <laughs> Red that repeating. Why? Why? Yeah, like, what is this? What is this? Red Dude, I feel like the Tarzan movie in, in 1999 brought back Kung Fu Grip. Like, just on, like how many toys like <laughs> beat their arms? Everybody wants Kung Fu fighting. <laughs> He's not fighting anybody but himself. <laughs> I don't know if that was a G.I. Joe thing, but that's, that's yeah. that's. that's so if you want to put that gif into the video. <laughs> <laughs> I probably could. <laughs> oh my gosh! It just <laughs> as an adult, it just wow. looks so wrong. <laughs> Cause it is. I feel like at the end of the gif, he kind of slows down, but that's just my eyes playing tricks on me. Doesn't matter. <laughs> he doesn't get tired. He never ever gets tired. <laughs> oh no! Oh, I see no. what you mean. No, it does kind of slow down. Doesn't matter if it's slow or fast. It's still bad. <laughs> oh well, yeah. Well, I'm not just like it's like man. He's he's finishing up. <laughs> Why are we staring so intently at this man? I scrolled up so it was, I wouldn't keep seeing it. This is such a white torso. Yeah. Jeez, okay. Mm. Well, to be oh. fair, all the blood's drained out of his body. <laughs> He's got no nipples or navel. That's just this is weird. Enigma. He doesn't need them. <laughs> He's got the one thing that counts, you know? Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. oh, oh my goodness. Mm -hmm. This guy would love the internet age. <laughs> oh, there, there are so many of toys from our childhood that's like, oh yeah, these are great, and then others that are like this. And then there's just those. questionable. It's just like, yep. who, who had the idea to make this him, as though. a toy I, for I think children? He just leave him to his, his devices. Uh... Speaking of devices, Jeez. what kind of toys are in the modern age? You know, like what kind of toys do children have that aren't, you know, that the iPads video games? Or... Yeah, 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 yeah. Or, or apps. <laughs> you know, apps, yeah. apps are the toys of the day. Oh, well, actually, man. It's, it's more I like. No. Because my Lego roommates... is timeless. Yeah. But my roommate's sister just came recently and visited with her little four year old boy. He doesn't play with toys at all. He wants mm -hmm. to either be watching YouTube or playing on her phone, oh, and she's like, yeah. I don't know how to stop this, but he just doesn't like toys. She's my probably Tarzan enabling toy. him. <laughs> That's kind of what it sounds like. No, I mean, like, she tried. We all tried to, like, play with him, and she's like, I do this all the time, and he's just not really interested. Well... Hmm. It's become a, a, a lesser part of the culture, I guess. Like, because, mm -hmm. yeah, honestly, Benny, as soon as you asked the question, I'm thinking to myself, shit, I don't actually know what childhood toys look like these days. I mean, it, like, even if I'm going through Target, I never look in the child's aisle. Like, I know, I know that they still have, like, Legos and Barbies and stuff, but in terms of, you know, new stuff they might have, I have no clue. It's very lackluster because the it way that very... our Walmart is set up, it. We have to like walk past the toys to get to the grocery section and I'll look at them and it's like, if I was a kid and I went down that aisle, I'd be so disappointed. Fair. Like a kid I mean, in an empty I don't store. know. Is it, is it an age thing or have toys just generally dropped See, off? See, I wonder well, that. I think parents have become less and less uh, parenting and uh, leave the, leave the, the entertainment up to the, the apps and the iPads and the. Because the children can be sedentary 
and and just sit on their little video game and yeah but and, i still feel like we had all the cartoons and stuff if i played sure but I we had commercials video games and cartoon you're right they don't have commercials now as long no. as their parents are paying for some kind of service they don't have to watch anything yeah true well my friend she's also got a four-year-old boy um and she has got him a lot of actual like proper toys and um, he's got roadways he's got dinky cars that kind of stuff mm -hmm. and he plays with them which is really really good but he is obsessed with by the cars on youtube mm. what? um i think it's his dad's fault <laughs> um <laughs> i'm shocked She's terrified of them, but she watches in some kind of grisly fascination because he is obsessed with this kind of thing. And I've seen it, and I'm just like, what? Cool. When what? a child has an obsession, though, when it's like, you know, fire trucks or, or, or whatever, like, they will just collect as much, you know, stuff as possible, even to the point where, like, it becomes their identity. And then Grandma will just send them that even after they've grown up, you know? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> but that's I'm the thing, I mean, because toys teach life skills. They can? Yeah. 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 You know, they, you know, if a kid is fascinated by something, like I learned a lot. engineering, get yeah, them, car, indulge them, get them in that. Lego and all this kind of stuff. Uh, yeah. So, Did anybody ever have, like, the Tonka trucks when they were younger for, like, dirt oh, yeah, or sand or something? Yeah. Them. I have one, but I used to carry my littler cars. <laughs> my friends and I tried to dig a hole to the middle of the earth, and we used that. <laughs> stop, if you stopped at the middle of the earth, you didn't go to China? <laughs> uh, we, we just wanted to get to the middle. We got about three feet down. <laughs> All right. That's a good one. That's, 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 that's way that's more good. than I could. Well, who, who, um, who he is here to big track? That sounds familiar. I don't know what that is. Now, it did have a bit of a revival probably about 15, 20 years ago. But um, it was a quote unquote robotic programmable vehicle. It wasn't like a remote control oh. car. I mean, I had a couple of those and they were all amazing. Um, but you would actually punch in codes on its back and program it to do a, a certain kind of route. That's you could cool. Say it was probably like a Roomba's great grandfather. Yeah. Popcorn. <laughs> Did you ever get a remote control car that had the same infrared frequency? as your neighbor's remote control car. <laughs> I did it once, and it was the funniest thing watching this little four-year-old scream and run back. Oh, oh, I was no. eight, so I, did, I had the morals of an eight-year-old, so, you know. <laughs> All right, enough said. <laughs> no, I didn't have one like that, I, but when we took our toys into school, there were a lot of cross wires. Okay, that makes sense. There's kids from all over the gaff. Yeah, and you only needed one of the person bringing in a remote, an RC car, and all hell broke loose. <laughs> oh yeah, definitely. I'm really curious, and I'm gonna like look at like some of like the the hottest toys right now. Um, apparently, like remade like Furbies yeah. are oh, my. are uh, <laughs> still pretty pretty popular right now, and Furbies uh, in their first iteration enough. were horrifying yeah so well, kids in the 90s right they, they're having kids now so uh yeah, yeah they're gonna come yes. back that's how the cycle um, works barbie is still pretty big it's been big since the 50s though so. oh yeah yeah well, especially yeah. with the Barbie's movie going anywhere and then before it was a sex doll interesting i did not know that yeah german sex doll it was bought by um, uh jeez somehow and that rebranded. doesn't even surprise me no, no. it really doesn't now you can buy real dolls they there's didn't have those. a yeah, don't Google toy. that. Don't ever Google that. <laughs> yeah, there no. is a uh, dog E. It is a robot dog. Oh, which like... we did. We definitely. Oh. Otter, I Wait. definitely re remember an, an early iteration of that yeah. that we had. Yeah, I do remember that. Yeah, isn't it the little dog that would like, like both of its legs would move at the same time? It would scoot forward a little bit and bark. Yeah. 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 yeah it was this like. I actually I like found it. Uh, it's called Tenko. Yeah, the that's robotic right. puppy. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, yeah. But there was also, there was also, um, we had one, the ones that you could like connect music to. Yeah. Jeez. And they would like that. light up. You want to know what's funny is 
I'm pretty sure that we each got one at some point, and they lasted mm -hmm. less than a year. I'm almost confident in that. <laughs> yeah. I have to ask. I have to ask the sisters something. Yeah. Did is there ever something that each of you got, and then one of you lost, and then the other, you know, uh, and then then you stole the others, you know, like to replace it. Like, did you ever do something that dastardly? Mm-mm. No, not us. Oh, no. I'm a sibling. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, we're, we're very loving siblings. We didn't really do that to each other. I love my siblings. I just love my little toys more. <laughs> yeah, so look, looking at this, there is a lot... There's a lot of of stuff that's, like, you know, directly connected to some form of, of media. There's still, you know, there's Star Wars stuff, there's Marvel stuff, there's Bluey stuff. Oh yeah, blue stuff's really um, popular. National Geographic Mega Slime Kit and Putty Lab. <laughs> what? Oh, so um... Explain to me what a poopsie is. A poopsie? Dude, poopsie. toys that excrete and piss. What the? Yeah, what? <laughs> why? What? Yeah. Uh, hey, don't don't say why. Think of all the baby doll toys that you grew up with on the TV, like baby Tiny born. Tiny tears. Or, yeah. Like yeah, you know Tammy Tinkle or whatever. It'll just just these 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 toys that are just designed to. And then when you open the diaper, a little toy comes out. Wow, like a yeah. child wow. These things. What I hate them. That's I so... think we used to have a doll that made like the the like a peeing sound or something, but it didn't actually pee or poop or anything like oh, that. Oh no. What no, whoa, no. what about that? Um, hold on. Usually human <laughs> dolls did not poop. It was the dog dolls that would poop. But but. Ah, well, well, uh, critters. Is this like giving your poopsie a vajazzle or something? I don't know. <laughs> well, okay, know. one of one of the newer like toys for like little little kids is the gotta go turtle. Okay. What? <laughs> what? Um, <laughs> it's literally yo no do it. It's literally a turtle that sits on a toilet. Cool. <laughs> and like, I see him. and it like dances around, oh, and you have to like feed it, and it and it has to poop. What the it hell? Does. I don't know. It's so weird. It's so very basically, it's like a seventy-year-old man. So here's the yeah. description: Little Live Pets Contributions Gotta Go Turtle Interactive Plush Rainbow Turtle that wiggles, poops, and talks. Reusable food. <laughs> that, uh, what? <laughs> Eat shit and die. Human oh my gosh. But what about board games? We've not talked about board games. Oh my gosh, oh. board games! Yeah, I actually had to play all my board epic games. Epic Monopoly games. <laughs> yes. Oh, Monopoly is is going to be big forever. I feel yeah, like. Yeah, I think. Oh yeah, I think definitely. that's going places. That game. I'm pretty sure it's almost a hundred <laughs> years old now, isn't it? Yeah, it's what was it? The more than that. Wait, hold on. Was it was it was it pre? Uh, hold on. Was it pre-depression or post-depression? I thought it was pre. pre I think, yeah, because okay. I think it came out around the time of like the Salem witch burning. No, 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 no. not that. Parker not Brothers, that late. not that early. Yeah, Parker Brothers created. Mono yeah, I, I, I don't know. I, I can't remember. I thought it was a. I, I don't know what it was exactly, but I remember when we went to Salem one year and we were doing a tour, they said something about, like, the origins of Monopoly somehow tied into the town. Okay, maybe the origins, uh, oh. but not oh. the patent. According to Wikipedia, it came out in 1935. Woo! Woo! I was right. Uh, hold up, hold up. Earliest known version was first patented in 1904. Yes, I was wrong. Woo! What? <laughs> It was called the Landlord's Game, but it was basically, basically the same, yeah. uh, the same, uh, yeah, con the same concept. But I don't think it, yeah, it didn't actually turn into Monopoly until like uh, uh, the 1930s. It looks okay. So Monopoly is technically post Depression, but the concept of the game has existed much earlier than that. Sure, it's pre and post Depression, rather <laughs> like my childhood versus my adulthood. <laughs> okay but no i i remember playing monopoly a bunch as a kid especially during new year's celebrations for whatever reason oh yeah no, i had hot. friends that lived across the street from me and we would have monopoly games that lasted for days 
and we'd like oh, leave yeah. the board set up at one of our houses and everybody would like take note of how much money they had yeah. and what yeah. properties they had so nobody could this switch. It's like an around. operation. No, trust anyone. It was. Oh hey, operation. Yeah. Operation. That's another. Okay. That's another one. <laughs> Who's another? Yep. That one freaked me out. I didn't like that one. Why well, well, it was just like the original a jump scare. <laughs> <laughs> well, I didn't think about the fact that he was nude. I just didn't like. Well, they, that re I got recently, put, they recently put little little pants on him, little little boxer shorts. I saw that. <laughs> oh no! I remember yeah. the original jump scare for me was "Don't wake Daddy." Don't. Oh yeah, my no. god! <laughs> oh my god! Well, <laughs> abuse games. That that remember... sounds so wrong. <laughs> Do you remember concentration? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Sounds it familiar. Was a... I don't think I ever played it, but. What about perfection. It was a little board that like. It had spots for you to fit little blocks into, and you had to do it before the timer ran out because then the board would pop up and all oh, your crap would fly that. out. Oh, of it. wait, I remember. Oh, I kind of remember like, that. Make a face. Oh. Mr. Pop goes pop. <laughs> exactly. Wait, Saren, do you remember that um that that alligator game with the teeth? Gator golf. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't it like Gator Dentist or something like that? Oh, no. Gator Dentist. Something, something like that. I was thinking Gator Golf. I remember that one. Oh, yeah. No, not that one. Gator Golf. Give it away. And or then Hungry Hungry Hippos. Had, um, <laughs> oh, yes. Yeah, mouse trap. Real classic. Yeah. Mouse Zany trap. action of a crazy contraption. The fun is catching. Mousetrap. Oh, my gosh. I oh, it was that game, too. Crocodile Dentist. Yeah, and the Mousetrap. I remember that game. Yeah. I don't think we... Yeah. I, we never yeah. had it, but I know somebody who did. We had, it, had it. There were so <laughs> many like moving parts that mm -hmm. I think we played it maybe twice, and then yeah, it just, was, it fell it was apart. just fun to build than anything. Just to... yeah. Oh my gosh! Now that reminds me of Candyland. Oh, oh my goodness! Candyland. And shoots <laughs> and ladders. Yes. I hated Candyland. Holy shit. So I had this game. It was like nobody else I've talked to has remembered this game. It was called Survive or Survivor, something like that. And you had to put all these little like hexagonal pieces down on a board that represented this big island in the middle of the ocean. And there were like sea monsters and stuff that would, you know, come after you move around the board. But you had to get people off the big island that was going to explode and take them oh. on little boats over to little oh. islands that were safe. But while you're in the water, you could get attacked and things. So it was a lot of fun. Weird. <laughs> that that concept sounds familiar. I don't think I've ever played it, but that concept sounds familiar. Like I've I've seen it being played, or I've heard people talking about it. But yeah, I don't know if I've ever looks, played it myself. I guess you would say it looks a little bit like Settlers of Catan, because the little hexagonal mm -hmm. pieces you flip over, <clears throat> and one of those had the explosion in it. So you had to Wait. get everybody to your island before you turned over the explosion. Dude. I do know that one. Oh my god, it is, I oh that game is old and I think it is made by the same people who did make a tan though. Uh I love it. Oh my god, yeah. I seen I've seen uh Will Wheaton play it on his channel and his uh oh, really? Geek and, yeah, Geek and Sundry <laughs> channel, yeah. I can believe that. He is a big nerd. Well um, against Jim Parsons, no doubt. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I mean you got games like that and they're like the that era's equivalent of like power wash simulator. Yeah, kinda. Yeah. Did any ever did anybody ever play Trivial Pursuit when they were? Yes. yes. I still. Oh, I still own mine. I gotta take a picture and send it to you. For I I had mine, um, the 1988 Genus Two edition, but I got rid of it like six or seven years ago because my brain never really worked very well with it well also parents... most of the facts are outdated i mean true i was gonna say growing up i had one and they my grandparents used to like buy the new card sets when they came out with like the yeah. new questions and stuff mm -hmm. one of my first serious boyfriends i remember we played it so much that we just knew all the answers because oh we God. remembered <laughs> asking each other before i know that our parents had a couple of versions of trivial pursuit including one i think was star wars based yeah they had um, a star wars one but but there was one particular trivial pursuit that we actually played as a family when when saren and i were like teenagers or younger it was actually a kids version so you had like half the cards were for adults and the other half yeah. were kids so we yeah, were we able to participate too, I think. yeah but then, then then of course you know as as saren and i were getting older it's like what the frick are these questions? So we we've actually played um some adult versions uh, as when 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 we were adults. Not too often, but we have a few times. 
Yeah, I haven't played night. any Wait, scenes. you guys are adults? <laughs> oh, gosh. I know, it's crazy, right? Yeah. We should not be allowed to be adults. You should probably not play the version that actually says adult. I mean, you version. guys are older than I am, then. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, you. Toys. Sorry, I've been looking at Tarzan for the past hour. <laughs> Why? <Yeah. laughs> he's right there. He's like Tarzan, <laughs> Bookaroo. Scroll up so you don't have to look at him anymore. <laughs> uh, That's what I did. But then I'm just looking at a med cart. You algebra. I'd rather Take look at that. <laughs> well, fine. Here's a here's a picture of some of my toys that I took. But oh, I that does not yes. even remotely oh. look familiar. You've seen that, that one? Familiar. Those little yes. Oh, that. Those little, <laughs> uh, those little 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 meeple things. It's so fun. Yeah, that does that does look. F I don't again. I don't think I've ever played that before, but it does look familiar. I forgot about the little whales. They can knock your boat over, and then your people have to swim. I'm shocked. <laughs> whales do be so knocking boats raft. over. <laughs> no, except there's there aren't any whales. Well, not true. There are whales in raft. Never mind. Are there? Are there? There are. are there? there are. Yeah, there are now. Yeah, I, I have seen the shark. I have video proof of it. I just <laughs> don't. I just don't remember at what point <laughs> in the video it happened. But no, there was a, there was a humpback whale. I think. Just like going over the top of the water and then disappearing back into the depths. Cool. <clears throat> I haven't seen the updates in that game in a long time. I guess I should check it out again. Could always could always have my videos on in the background just to kind of get a feel for how That's how, how, how how it goes. <laughs> but yeah, no. You can always I'm... start watching it when you hear the screams. <laughs> no, no. Saren, Saren and I have a lot of fun uh, playing that. Yeah. Oh, Saren, random thing. I'm suddenly remembering. Um, at uh. Papa and Grandma's house. Uh, mom, mm -hmm. mom's dad. Mom's dad. I mean, um, yeah. Uh, yeah. They, 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 they always had a bunch of like uh, little random stuff in their closet in the room we used to sleep in, right? Do you ever remember like that little Sesame Street set that they had? Mm, no. You don't? Want? No. Okay. Well, there was de familiar. there was de there was definitely like it was like this little Sesame Street like house with a bunch of like little characters and. Um, it was almost kind of dull one house. Like. Sesame Street set. Ah, 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 Jerry Nelson. Yeah, it's like I, 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 I mean, obviously, I believe you. I just do not recall. Yeah, that that's one of the earliest toys that I remember us not necessarily having, but at least playing with on occasion. Mm -hmm. Um, well, and then of course, you know, there, there's obviously the Beanie Babies too. But what what I like about a lot of the childhood toys that you know we all used to have is that. You know, I can't, I don't remember who said it earlier, but it's like either they they kind of they kind of gave you like life lessons or kind of you know taught you a little bit more about the world, or the toys could allow you to have so much creative freedom with them to kind of do your own thing. And mm -hmm. I know that that was definitely true with the Beanie Babies that Saren and I used to have. Well, stuffed animals at this point because you know we had Beanie Babies, Webkins, Build a Bears, whatever. But I know that. I, when it came to the creativity aspect for us with the stuffed animals, I mean, each stuffed animal had its own individual personality and history, and nothing mm -hmm. else. We 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 never we never like you know created different stories with them and like you know different scenarios or stuff. No, those stuffed animals, each individual one, had its own same character, same personality, same history, and yeah. nothing would change. It was just, you know, we would tell different stories with different stuffed animals, but they were always the same. I did but... the exact same thing. <laughs> hey, I ended up making I ended up making a whole damn story out of it. Oh yeah, God. I did too with my friends. I think we had like 80 stuffed animals between all of us and yeah. we had these epic battles so what happened. <laughs> I did that with <laughs> like a mini figures. That's the great thing about toys. Um, not only do they potentially teach you good skills, they get your imagination going. Yeah. You yeah. invent stories, adventures. If you if you've got like Star Wars toys, you have Star Wars stories. You, exactly. you get a bunch of plushies together, you have plushy fights and give them demonic powers as you will. <laughs> No, I, I, I think it's a lot healthier for kids to develop that own their own creativity and their own understanding of the world. And that oh, I think I think that's why those kinds of toys are well, I mean, you know, toys like that in general are just good to have because, you know, I think I think it does make it very healthy for kids. Unlike what's been going on today, it's nothing but, you know, video games and iPads. 
Mm -hmm. So to be vaguely serious and sensible for a minute, do you think a time is coming where those kinds of devices might end up age restricted in the sense that kids below a certain age shouldn't really be messing around with them? Or do you think it's gone beyond that and they're now seen like televisions and it's just a different generation growing up differently? Oh, yeah. Because I... Yeah. I I once thought of a, a science fiction dystopian story where people, entire generations growing up with this kind of equipment had basically left them bereft of social skills so that humanity was essentially starting to die out because people didn't have the skills to mm -hmm. basically get partners anymore and have families. I, I don't think we're going to get to a point where it's restricted because we already have the experts saying this isn't good to do to these young kids. They need to be able to, you know, create their own stories and figure out the way the world works rather than just watching a video and they tell you everything. True, but in a generation, those experts' children will have been used to it and they, won't say, they won't say the same thing. Uh, I, don't I, think, I don't think it's going to end up as popcorn scenario, because in the end of the day, all you really need in a pairing is an egg and sperm. You don't necessarily need another person. So the human race will not die out, I'm afraid. Well, think, well that was the part of the story, because it basically got to the point where society and governments had set up breeding centers. Mm. That seems you know, to be a big thing in dystopian stuff, where it's like nobody has real human contact anymore. Which I think we started with the whole COVID thing. I know I lost some social skills during that. Right. Yeah, simulated human contact has been getting that. more and more advanced. Yep. Growing adults can lose social skills thanks to like prolonged isolation. So what does that do to kids? Yeah. I mean, yeah, regard regarding your question earlier, I think in in a sense we are at a point of no return where, you know, uh, Oh, I, I, I was thinking of a good way to explain this earlier, and suddenly I've forgotten. But like, like, like it's been said, there are experts that are telling us, you know, this is not good for the kids. You know, more effort should be put into the actual parenting. Except, we know exactly how consumerism works, mm -hmm. and that basically the parents are like, I don't want to waste too much time and spend it on my child on a lot of occasions and the companies that are selling products like you know devices game stations ipads phones stuff like that they're the ones that realize that no we can make money off of this we're not going to age restrict it and the government's not going to do anything about that i mean governments all over aren't really going to do anything about that yay it's kind of societal issue though because now people you know if you're in a society where you have to like work two jobs to make ends mm -hmm. meet you don't yeah. have the time to spend exactly. with your kids so these companies yeah. these big tech companies see an opening that they exploit and all of yeah. a sudden the phone becomes mommy right i mean what, what 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 what's the logical conclusion to that it's literally the fembot i mean <laughs> not for the kids you, but... you 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 end up with you know compliant artificial intelligent humanoids that will say anything that you want them to say and do everything that they you want them to do because if you deal with real people they might tell you no i didn't think we were to talk about these kind of toys but uh here we are well no i mean it, it, i'm just thinking about in the terms of logical progression from where we are as this kind of technology has the potential to supersede traditional toy skills yeah, it um, does. imagination stories what toys still have to they, they still have a role to play to teach people because if that if like the fembot is the logical conclusion to this or the boy bot it, you know whichever you know that's you not like that's that's not an end game that we'll see for another like 40 or 50 years but you can say that it is in play yeah, but I think yeah. then we have to think about the whole storyline with the nanny in Detroit Become Human. Mm -hmm. She decides, hey, I'm not going to listen to this dude anymore because he's abusing the kid. I'm going to take the kid and go. Still won't think of the children. <laughs> and, you know, d despite a potentially, you know, grim future where that, where, you know, stuff like that could potentially happen. On the flip side of things, too, is that 
the the more generations that are come like the the newer generations that are coming out a lot of them don't want kids anymore a lot of them like a mm-hmm. lot of a lot of the young generations just flat out don't want kids because They're of how much of right. how how much of a financial pressure it is and how much of an emotional pressure it is and but and not to mention too that they're even of the parents that are out there, there's still a substantial subset of them that do like the traditional stuff, and they do well with their parenting enough to not get their kids to drown into the, their screens, basically. So, you know, at, at, as grim of a future as we definitely have with a very large portion of society when it comes to raising kids and, you know, giving them that creative freedom and toys and whatnot... We still do have some hopes, I think. We do, but it's going to take the rest of us standing up and saying, like, let's actually pay attention to these children and teach them. Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah, but anyone with kids will not accept any advice from anyone who does not have kids. True. Yeah. Yeah. That is often true. It's a shame because, you know, objective opinions is something that's very important to have. Right. Well, and even on my end, even on my end too, I currently don't have kids. I would like a kid, but I currently don't have them, and I also have a lot of experience with kids. So I mean, it, it, it kind of depends on context too. Is that you know, certainly there are probably plenty of parents that are like, "Why am I? You're not going to give me an opinion," but there are some people who might listen to it. Mm. So I, I, it, it kind of just depends on context and perspective, I think. Yeah. All right. Good luck. <laughs> I I just I, many and many a parent just it, it just it's like in, instilled inside them to not accept any advice from basically e- even people with ha- even from people with oh, yeah. kids. Absolutely. Nobody you're, likes you're not wrong. Have, well, yeah, you, know, you don't like being told you're doing something wrong unless you're going to a like a specific like child psychologist or or like mm-hmm. someone who works like unless you're going and actively seeking that if they're not going to accept. Mm-hmm. But. That's yeah. just my own experience. Maybe you're right. You know, maybe in Colorado, people are nicer. Oh, uh, I mean, I, I do know receptive. that Co- Colorado in general is definitely a lot more progressive than a lot of other places I've lived. So that that is that is part of it. I least. mean, even liberal parents, my friend, I've I've uh, I've parents, you know, just don't like to. Uh, you know, I have to raise my kid my way without any you know outside influence. If they do, they'll corrupt my kid or they'll turn my kid into a. Uh, you know, or, or they'll Something. make them think, or they'll make them into a bully, or they you know, whatever. It's a... I'll make them think. I don't want my kid thinking. <laughs> yeah. also, in some cases, that. But, I don't want my yeah. kid imagining and pretending and thinking and all this nonsense. I can't learn about the <laughs> world. Might to out who they disagree are. with me. <laughs> well, actually, my parents. They were... might become a liberal. My parents specifically said, "We will not tell you our political." Uh, um, uh, like we won't tell you who we voted for. We won't tell you what our like political party is. They would not tell me. They would not tell me until, of course, I you know was old enough to figure it out myself. Uh, they wanted me to come up with my conclusion. So I'm actually very lucky. Very lucky. Good parents. Good parents. Fair. Yeah. Very happy. I think a lot of us are lacking that. So like, I don't have kids. Never will have kids. But mm-hmm. if I did have a kid i don't know that i i mean like i was raised by grandparents and they did a fairly good job they paid attention to my interests and stuff but Mm -hmm. i don't think i could raise a kid i don't think i have the right experience of having been raised like in a home from a mother type of thing Mm -hmm. yeah yeah i mean what really first time parent has the experience needed to be a parent true (laughs) very Very true true. wow well this 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 certainly transitioned in ways i did not see coming but eh, that happens sometimes <laughs> toys everyone yay this episode sponsored by toys sponsored yeah. by toys sponsored by toys sponsored by toys right yeah now. yes yes scroll <laughs> no. scroll the scroll the screens and computers now i mean granted i get entertainment from them too but growing up with the traditional toys that's how you do it man i i, I feel like it's 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 very healthy to have your kids grow up on that stuff I agree. But it's hard when they're going to school and their friends have an iPhone and they come home and go, why does he have one and I don't? You don't need one. (laughs) One, life isn't fair. You gotta tell teach your kids Uh, that. Life isn't fair. And two, it's not about you. You gotta teach the you know, teach your kids that. That's two things my my dad always said to me. Life isn't fair, it's not about you. True. Yep. That never helped me feel better though. (laughs) It doesn't help me feel better, but it helped me understand. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. And it helps you empathize with other people, you know. True. Sometimes you just need a hard truth to smack you upside the head. 
Yeah, truth regardless. I, you know, agreed that uh, no matter whether the truth is harsh or, or just truth needs yeah, to be said. Yeah, very true. Well, we have been at it for about an hour already, so I'm not sure if anybody has any closing thoughts. No, I feel like we kind of went through a lot of them. We did. <laughs> we did. We <laughs> did. It was it was great getting to getting to hear about everybody's experiences from their childhood and you know reminiscing about stuff that I've forgotten about. Holy crap! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Thanks for so reminding me of that light bright. <laughs> well, heck yeah. <laughs> right. To close it all, um, do we think our toys, our memories of our toys, how much of it is genuine? How much of it is nostalgia? Well, my, I know my Soviet Union globe will never go out of style. <laughs> no, I don't think you can say that it's... I mean, you probably are looking at it a little bit with rose-colored glasses, but I can honestly say that the toys that I enjoyed, I got real enjoyment out of. Mm -hmm. Well, of course it's going to be rose-colored glasses. I agree with that. If you could remember it in perfect clarity, you'd be a machine. I mean, True. You, you, gotta, you gotta accept that, but I think the toys that I grew up with do hold up. Yeah, I think I think for me, nostalgia is definitely a part of it. But I do know that you know there there, there was genuine creativity and interest that was happening there. It's like genuine yeah. experiences that I needed to go. Yeah, exactly. I sometimes sometimes find myself looking at Amazon, just looking to see if there's any like Lego sets that are like you know small and not going to be in the way. <laughs> I've definitely done with the, with Amazon and being new babies. <laughs> yeah. Well, mm -hmm. you're talking to the guy who's got the Lego Titanic, so... Oh my hey, god! That's yeah. true! Lego <laughs> Iceberg, we should... We should hang. The Lego Iceberg. Lego Iceberg. <laughs> oh boy. Wow. I do not have room. Oh. Do you have the Lego uh, Rose and Leonardo? It's... What's his no. name? Jack? <laughs> Jack. <laughs> Jack. What's his name? Oh. What's his nuts? <laughs> Rose and Leonardo. Are <laughs> oh, we back on Tarzan again? No! No, no, Time out, time out. <laughs> the leg of steam. Tarzan out! Tarzan out! <laughs> well, this was this was very fun, guys. This was a good discussion. I like it that. It was. Yeah. Good. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. We don't know how to say goodbye. Apparently not. <laughs> oh, I was waiting for Otter to. It's her thing. Yeah, I figured you yeah. Her I, I, Okay, okay. okay. You, Mom. Fine, fine, fine. I'm going to end it here. Thank you all for listening or watching, because I'm probably going to post a couple of pictures um, in this video. Just, like, just kind of sprinkled throughout. Sprinkle. Including that damn Tarzan gif. <laughs> <laughs> Sprinkle it. Yeah. Just a little bit. But yes, thank you for listening. I hope you guys enjoyed this. And as usual, until the next video or podcast, check you later. Goodbye. Goodbye, everybody. Farewell. Farewell.